How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you guys how to repair your F-hose if there's a crack in it. This is going to be on your 2014-2015 diesel Chevy Cruze. Don't mind this right here, a 10 millimeter bolt goes there. I had to use it for something else on the car. But uh, this is your F-hose right here. Where it often cracks is down below. You don't have to jack the car up to attempt to fix this uh, crack. So I'll show you which panel you gotta pull off. It's gonna be this one right here. Yours isn't gonna have that screw. I accidentally broke mine pulling mine off, so hopefully you don't do the same to yours, but I'll show you how to pull that off. Uh, there's another hose that looks very similar to this one, and it goes down below, and it's this line right here. It comes up and around to the intake side or clean air side of your turbocharger. So if this one doesn't resolve it, you can pull off this panel right here and get access to the elbow that seems to crack on these and cause that, uh, that boost leak. So I'm going to go down below and I'll show you guys where that, uh, that elbow is. All right, so I pulled the panel out. Uh, there's a clip right here that is approximately seven and a half, eight inches away. And then uh, the one on the bottom, I already went down there and felt it. It's about eight inches away from this edge. And then coming up on the side, you're gonna want to use your flathead and this one is about two and a half. So I just went in with the flathead right around the edge and kind of popped, popped them out. And then uh, the last thing you gotta do is there is a outside air temperature sensor that is right there. And then on the back side, this clip is one of the easiest on the car. You just kind of take this tab push it off and there's your sensor and then yours won't swing up like mine like I said before mine broke off so I ended up running a screw through it not a wood screw I'm not trying to get a wood screw in my tire but there's that there's nut on the back side and then your F hose is gonna be this guy right here and it comes around this is actually the uh, elbow I keep talking about it's like a 90 degree elbow so comes around all the way and then kind of around that that back side of this bracket right here and i just took some red rtv some case uh rtv it's orange kind of reddish and i went around the edge of that f hose and sealed up the leak so there's other places that it can leak i'll come up top of the engine i'll show you where those could be so like i said this might be a temporary maybe permanently uh permanent fix for you but they usually crack at the seams so so I made a mistake the first time um, instead of trying to find the leak or find the crack I just replaced my F hose so hopefully you don't have to do the same because these can get quite expensive especially with parts shortages now so again uh, it can crack in other places so this is what the F hose out obviously but there's a seam there's a seam, there's one as well, and then the rest is all one assembly uh, until you get all the way down here. So I guess it could also be around this one. So there's one, two, three, four other places that uh, the crack could be. And then I'll show you guys the elbow and where that usually cracks and then where you're going to want to apply the sealant so you can see there where it's split and then you come around it obviously split there and then flip it around and then you can see split there it's uh, still together up there and then the rest of it looks pretty good so all I did is I took some RTV sealant and went around this edge here and uh, kind of temporarily sealed it back together where it had split. 
It's worth noting, uh, when your F-hose is installed in your car, there's a bracket in the way about right here, and you're not gonna be able to see this back. 25% uh, of the uh, lip on the elbow. So you're just gonna wanna put some um, RTV sealant on your fingers and just kinda blindly go back there and pack it into the lip as you feel it. And don't worry about getting it anywhere else. Um, you know, you don't want to, it's RTV. The F-hose isn't gonna care where you put it, how much you put on. So as long as you get it back there, just uh, throw as much as you want on and it'll, it'll seal up regardless of you knowing if there's a crack back there or not. Uh, some of the codes that you might get because of the crack in the FOs or the boost leak are uh, PAPA0299 or the other code could be PAPA003alpha. And then lastly at the bottom of this video in the description I'll have a link on how to replace your F-hose if you decide to do that. And then I'll also have in the bottom a link to the 2014-2015 diesel Chevy Cruze cheat sheet.